Let's go on and carry out our e tutorial. In the previous videos, we had a look on how to use the rendering tools to set the appearance of objects as for materials and the surface finish. In this last video, after making our objects more attractive, we will take a snapshot of the final scene. Let's start by applying a decal to the drawing sheet to make it more realistic. We set it as current, apply fit view, and select the decal command. On the surface, we want to apply an image that we are going to choose in our folder. Let's take, for instance, the image of the drawing that we prepare for the purpose, div group, and we apply it to the sheet. We adjust its position. The drawing is already mapped on the sheet. Its proportions were deliberately the same, so we've got a drawing sheet with an image on it. After confirming, we reset to current component, select fit view to adjust the view, and let's introduce the last settings to take our photograph. We set the view properties and change the projection. From orthogonal, we switch it to perspective. Change the focal length from 70 mm to 35 mm corresponding to a compact camera and confirm by OK. We close the panel of the prefine views and now we are ready to take the snapshot. We select Fit View. Once we have found a suitable look for our scene, we are ready to generate our image to display the effect we run the rendering preview. The preview will show the realistic look given to materials, surfaces and finishes that we have just applied. Now we define the parameters to take the snapshot. From the graphics area we select Option Properties and from System Options Rendering. We set File and click on the Save icon. The dialog box being displayed enables us to choose the JPEG or TIFF extensions. In this case, we choose JPEG and type the name of the image that we call Photo. We save it, and at this step, we set this resolution. We switch width from 768 to 1500, and height from 576 to 900. Then we confirm by OK. We widen the pane. And now we are not taking the final snapshot anymore in preview mode, but in ray tracing mode, more accurate. We can see the result obtained by this technique by exploiting, for instance, the possibility of loading images from within the program files. So, let's open a new model from template and let's insert an image in it, for instance, ours photo. We open it and insert the image on the work plane. We now select Fit View. And let's see the objects in detail. Let's zoom over the coffee mug. We can see how the objects caliper, pen, paper sheet are reflected in the glass. Transparencies 
reflections in the liquid and in the metal are represented. We can distinguish very well the paper sheet, the table, and even some color of the glass. Reflections in the metallic objects reflect in part the surrounding environment, the grains of the wood, as well as the varnished metal of the table. Even the look of the paper sheet is extremely realistic. Now, we have seen how to get images with effects of realistic materials, in particular of surface finishes, by exploiting the predefined library of materials of the program and the possibility of modifying some parameters, even though intuitively, to adjust the look of our object, obtain some more materials that we can later save to library and reuse, and finally take a snapshot of a realistic object. Now, we close the model from template without saving it. Then, select Fit View. And finally, save the model used for the tutorial. This way, ending our task.